Hi Aquarius, I am here to do a timeless reading for you, okay? Whenever you find this, the time will be right, okay? But this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Thank you very much. Okay, your first card out is the brown bear spirit. Take time out. It looks like you might be needing time for a break. Mm -hmm. Time to go relax. Maybe you've been very busy. Either emotionally, mentally, physically, all the above. And you need to take some quality you time. Intuition. Okay. So, you need to use your intuition at this time. So take a time out so you can use your intuition, all right? Let's uh, get a divine door. The art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. So this is telling you that you need to do what it is that you want to do. Not what you think others want you to do, but what you want to do. Okay? And I can see that that could be very well part of this is saying take time out you need this use your intuition and here it's saying there is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life be bold in your skin and let your love dance in sight okay so is there something that you're wanting to do that you're not doing for whatever reasons judgment um Whatever it may be, this is saying take the time out, use your intuition, and figure this out, okay? Let's get a wisdom of the oracle, see what they would like to share. Unfinished Symphony. Okay. It looks like there is a part of you who started something, really wanted to do this thing, but you have not been able to finish it. It is an unfinished symphony, and it's something that you really want to do. Okay. So I would say that would definitely fall under here. You need to finish it. Mm -hmm. And I do understand timing. You know, sometimes it's very challenging to find the time to do what you want to do. But the, if it's an important part of you, then you need to try to do it. At least get started on it and work on it, you know, when you can. Page of Wands. All right. Yeah, I would say this is probably right about there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what the um, Page of Wands is telling you is that you're a free spirit with a passion for life. And from what we have here, I can totally see that. You're filled with ideas. And it's kind of like this creative restlessness that you're going through. You feel a really strong pull towards using the ideas to start a new phase of your life. And then there's a potential that it's a spiritual path. And, you know, you can see that through here. Maybe you started this at one time, or you wanted to, or you thought about it a lot. And here, 
This is a learning energy, a student energy. This is where you really want to go ahead and go forward, and you should. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get another card. So a little bit big. The Queen of Wands. Wonderful energy. She is very confident and very social. She's ambitious. You know, just look at the image. Very happy. And I can see that this, if you can continue and start this process, oops, sorry about the camera. If you can start this process, this is how you will feel. You will feel excited, ambitious, enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Let's take one more. Page of Pentacles. Again, a learning energy. This is where you are ready to up level your skills, to learn what it is you've been wanting to learn. Okay? So you need to go forward with this because it looks like it's on your mind quite a bit. And it would benefit you. It would help you to feel better. Okay, let's get another card. Okay, this says, embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Okay, that's really important. And it looks like you haven't been, that you've been trying to kind of keep this, not necessarily on the down low, but on the back burner. How's that? You need to go ahead and let this part of you out. Mm -hmm. So you can experience the happiness, the enthusiasm. And it looks like you've been holding that down. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. And you need to go ahead and accept it and let it shine. Ha. Ah, okay, message in a bottle. This is telling you keep your eyes open for synchronicities. Okay, maybe numbers or finding say a feather or something and maybe you find more and more or you hear a song on the radio and then you hear it again later. Listen to the words. There's going to be a message for you somewhere. Okay? In the near future, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, this is saying that you have felt like you need to protect and defend something. And from the cards out here, it looks like that you have been this way because you're uncomfortable, you know, letting this part out. Here we are. 
There is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. So whatever, whatever this is that you're wanting to do, you do need to work on it and let it shine through because having this as one of your energies is not serving you, okay? You need to be able to release this. Okay, let's um, get another card. Expect powerful change. Beautiful. Okay. So what I think this is telling you is if you go ahead and start to let this open and out, you can definitely expect the change to come forth and it will be powerful. These two look beautiful together. It almost looks like she's holding this in her hand, right? Okay. The sacral chakra. Okay. The words for the sacral chakra are I want. Okay. And it is down lower in your abdomen. Two fingers below your navel and it relates to emotions, desires, creativity, sexuality. Okay. And if it is not balanced, you need to try to balance it and get the energy flowing and moving. You could try dancing. Make for sure to move your hips. Use color meditation, yoga practice. You need to nurture yourself during this time, especially if you are going to let any of the surface. You need to take very good care of yourself. Okay, let's get a few more cards. What else do we have for Aquarius universe? Beautiful, very fast, positive moving energy. Wonderful, and a lot of it, okay? Which is beautiful, I think. Mm -hmm. Because what that says to me is that you are going to start letting some of this surface. Queen of Swords, okay. What this is saying to me, the Queen of Swords is all about the truth, right? You need to let your truth out. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, it says that you are tuning into a higher frequency. All right, you're going through an awakening, which is wonderful. So here you have the brown bear spirit where this started. Take time out. Use your intuition. And then here, there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. Okay? So, take your time out. Use your intuition. Realize what you need to do. You have an unfinished symphony that's lying within you. You need to let it out. And here, 
Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. And by doing this, you will be in your truth, which is huge. You will not feel the need to defend and protect because you will be living your true life, right? Now, remember to keep your eyes open for synchronicities. And remember your sacral chakra. This is where your emotions are. So you might need to balance that. And if you do start to finish this, if you do allow yourself to be visible, this is the impression that I get of how you're going to feel, which is light, beautiful, excited, fun. And here you have lots of positive energy coming in. So take that and use that to your benefit to allow yourself to come out. And here you're going through a huge awakening and tuning into a higher frequency. And that is going to also help you come forward with whatever this is in your life. And don't forget to use your intuition, okay? Okay, I'm going to put these over here so we can get some cards from the universe to see what they would like to share. I think this is a really beautiful reading. It's important for you to be who you really are. And when you do, remember, expect a powerful change. You will feel much lighter, much happier, not living an invisible life. And remember, like I said at the beginning of the uh, video, only take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Okay, your first card, the world. What that means is a successful completion of a cycle, therefore the beginning of a new one. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful one, right? Successfully getting out of this invisible life and success successfully <laughs> beginning or finishing coming back to your symphony. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sure what this is, is the universe referencing this energy. Mm -hmm. You felt the need to protect, defend, you know, none shall pass, put up that kind of wall, because you felt cornered. Now, these are emotions, okay? They're all within you. These bindings in the blindfold are very loose. You can just take them off. And you should. Take a look at the reasons why you have kept this under wraps. Mm -hmm. And deal with those so you can let it go. So you can drop this energy. Usually when I take cards from the universe, if there's a problem area, the universe will address it in the cards. Not always, but usually. Okay, one more card. Whoa. Or f maybe a few more. <laughs> ah, look what we have again. Judgment twice. So this is a universe's way of saying I meant what I said. You're going through a huge awakening and tuning into a higher frequency. The one where it looks like you get to live the life that you've been kind of keeping down that you really want. And you also have the Knight of Swords. And what the Knight of Swords says is you are going forward and in a hurry. This is the fastest knight in the deck. 
okay? They're all about achieving their goal, okay? Everything is put aside for them to achieve their goal. And what the feeling I'm getting from this, though, is, yes, you want to go forward and achieve your goal, but don't go so fast that you miss part of it or leave part of it behind, okay? Go for that goal. That's what this is about. But make for sure you take the time you need to do it the way that you're happy with. You have these two cards, and both of these are probably the fastest cards in the deck, okay? Very fast, positive-moving energy. And then the Knight of Swords, the fastest knight in the deck, ready to go achieve that goal and get it done right now. And that's great. If you can do it, great. But don't go so fast that you don't enjoy it or that you miss things, okay? Take time out to achieve what you want to achieve and do it exactly in the way that makes you happy, okay? Let's get a charm. And I don't look, so I get teased sometimes. Ah, a glass of wine. <laughs> now that's just beautiful. What that is saying is that if you go forward with this and use your intuition, you are going to be successful. And you're going to be very, very happy. And it will be time to celebrate. And this energy will be gone. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Much love. Bye.